Now, as the UK Prime Minister prepares to deliver a key Brexit speech in Florence this week, I spoke exclusively to Franz Timmermans, Principal Vice President of the European Commission, and asked him what the EU27 want to hear from Theresa May. What I can just state as a fact is that if you look at the media uh, and you compare the British media to the media in the rest of Europe, uh, Brexit is very, very much uh, a topic in the United Kingdom and much less so in other member states of the European Union. So uh, although, you know, we're all concerned, uh, we're all very worried and, and very, very sad about this, uh, we have also many other things on our agenda in the European Union. We have, there is a, a greater sense of urgency that we need to do more as Europeans to provide more security for our citizens. We need to do more as Europeans uh, to provide uh, more growth for our citizens, more jobs for our citizens. We need to solve this incredibly complicated issue of migration. And that creates an agenda for Europe which goes beyond uh, Brexit. Uh, that doesn't mean that Brexit isn't important. It's extremely extremely important. But the future of the EU27 is at least uh, as important, if not more important, to the citizens of those 27 member states. We understand that uh, the UK Prime Minister Theresa May will be in Florence to give a key speech on the 22nd of September. What would you like to hear from Theresa May then? Well, what I would like to hear um, is that we continue to look for a solution of this problem without doing uh, any harm to any party. We're, we should be in, in this mode of cooperation. We need to do this. It is clear the British people have spoken. The UK is going to leave the European Union. But let's agree to do as little harm as possible in this process. I think this is to uh, this is serves the interest of all citizens in the UK and in the European Union better than anything else. I spoke to the boss of one UK pub business uh, recently and he said that uh, and I'm quoting posturing by EU oligarchs at the European Commission is encouraging British importers such as his business to look elsewhere for suppliers. How would you respond to that? Well, you know, all these words, I keep seeing them in the British media, oligarchs posturing, faceless bureaucrats, etc., etc. It doesn't have any implication for the way we negotiate. We we're very businesslike about this. We need to solve a problem, which is a huge problem. It's the first time in 40 years that a member state leaves the European Union. We've, we've sort of grown together over 40 years. Can you imagine how intricate that relationship has become? And now you need to disentangle that relationship. That's an incredibly complicated issue. And I would like to go about this as businesslike as possible. Although I'm very very emotional about Brexit itself because I'm extremely saddened by it. The process of disentanglement should not be in an emotional process but a very business-like process. That's the attitude of the Commission and all sorts of strong words and, and, and accusations etc. don't help but we shouldn't be distracted by them either.